Hi, Joe here from Shutterspeak Photography. Very nice to see your smiling face again here on YouTube. So, presets. So many people have preset packs out there. YouTubers, photographers, they have them for Lightroom, for, you know, uh, Luminar, and all sorts of different software packages. And for the most part, most preset packs really have never really excited me all that much. But... Credit to where credit is due. The folks at Skylum have come up with a preset collection for Luminar Neo that I've just had a blast playing around with. And it's called the Vincent Van Gogh Artistic Collection. Actually, it's called the Van Gogh Artistic Collection. No Vincent in there. So um, let me show you how it can turn a very boring photo into something really fun. Let's take a look. Okay, so we're here in Luminar Neo. I have installed my Van Gogh collection preset pack. It is a purchased uh, preset collection. However, at the end of this video, I'll give you the opportunity to win it for free. But so stick around for that. So I'm gonna select a photo and I did actually take these pictures with the idea in mind that I wanted to use them for use with this preset because I thought that it would be fun and these images kind of match the Van Gogh feel as best as I can do in my local area, right? So I'm gonna click on presets. Now, of course you have to install that preset pack. Uh, to do that, just hit this add button here and you can install it. And once it is installed, now here is the little bit of a trick in case you don't know this. Once you have installed a preset pack, you actually have to click on the word purchased to see your installed preset packs. Now I'm gonna select the Van Gogh Artistic Collection and now I can apply the style of any of these famous paintings to my image. So I'm gonna choose Sunset Orange because it's fun, why not? And let me show you what that looks like. Okay, so give it a second to load in fully. And there we go. So right off the bat, that looks kind of cool, right? But um, there's a problem with that. And the problem is on the top, there's a lot of texture. You can see it, they clearly see the canvas texture in this painting and it's not applied to the bottom. So how can we fix that? Well, it's pretty easy actually. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to edit and we're gonna bring in some textures. So I just did a quick search on the internet for canvas textures and it's very hard to match this exact texture and I wasn't able to find anything that's an exact match for this, but we can play around with things and kind of make it close. So first I'm gonna bring in a layer that I found on Unsplash. And if you're not familiar with Unsplash, it's a place where you can get a lot of images and textures free of charge. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so I can go over here and just kind of drag it across. And this is a very tight woven texture. Um, and what I can do is actually I can bring it in twice and just make it a little wider. And I think that's what I'm going to do here because we have a bigger texture. So I'm going to bring it in once here. And now I'm going to bring it in a second time. And I'm going to put it right next to the other one. Put it right there. So we have a little bit wider texture. Now, yes, I know that's not a very good match there, right? but that's okay. So what we're gonna do is, we are gonna go over and select our texture. We're gonna go over to masking. We're gonna use the brush. Set it to erase. Set its softness to 100 and its strength to 100. Now we're just gonna go in across the top here and we're gonna get rid of that top. And I'm gonna make it a little smaller here so that we can blend in this side a little nicer, okay? And now we're gonna do the same with the other texture. Masking, brush, erase. Make it a little bit bigger. Around 184, that's just about right. We can brush that away and get a little smaller and just go right down that seam there to blend those two in a little nicer. Now we're gonna go over to properties and I am gonna set this to overlay. And go to the other one, set that one to overlay. Maybe move it over a little bit and make it a little 
little bit bigger on this side. And so right off the bat now, I have a little bit more texture. But I'd like to make a little bit bigger texture in there as well to kind of match that Van Gogh. So how can I do that? Well, I can bring in yet another texture. Okay, so I'm going to bring in a bigger, wider texture, which I got off deposit photos. Um, okay, yeah, replace it. Why not? Sorry, I obviously already had it in there. Okay, let's bring that in. And now you see this is a much wider, thicker, kind of fatter texture, which matches a little bit more of the, the dots. And what I'm going to do is kind of get it a little smaller to try and match the size of some of those dots on the Van Gogh canvas. And I'm going to bring it in. And now same thing, I'm going to go to masking and brush. And we'll do paint this time. And we'll just paint in some spots here and there. Kind of random. And I'm going to get rid of that edge right there. So I'm going to go to erase and just soften out that edge so we don't have a hard curve. And I'm going to go to properties. And now let's switch this over to overlay. And that added in some little thicker pieces of texture. And we can even do that again by bringing in a new texture. Same one again. And make it a little smaller so that the dots kind of match up with those dots on the Van Gogh canvas. And same thing now. We'll go to masking, brush, and we're going to paint this in and just kind of randomly paint some spots where you'd like a little of those heavier dot texture to be. And it's kind of almost random on the Van Gogh as well. Let me just get rid of that hard edge there. So we don't want that. And now we'll go to properties again. And let's just change this to overlay. And there we are. And now let's just take a look and see how that looks. So you see we have some hard texture here, kind of like we do in the paintings over here. We have some of the thinner texture. So it kind of looks like it's all kind of working together now pretty well. And, you know, really just like that, we've kind of created our own little Van Gogh. So that's kind of fun, right? So let's see what else we can do. All right, so let's take a look at another photograph. So let's go over to presets. And for this one, let's choose view of Paris. And we'll give that a second to process as the preset uh, applies itself. And there we go. And right off the bat, uh, let's wait for it to clear up a little bit. There we go. And it looks pretty cool. But of course, same issue. We need texture along the bottom. And you'll notice these brush strokes are much different. There's not really any canvas showing through. So what I did was I just found a different texture, one with bigger brush strokes. So I'm going to bring that one in. And let's apply that preset. And you see that this preset has brush strokes. Uh, I'm sorry, not <laughs> preset. This overlay. It's not a preset, it's an overlay. Sorry, my bad. And let's stretch it out. We can stretch it out across the bottom here. Or maybe, you know, we'll do the same thing. We'll bring it in twice. So let's cut it right at the middle there. And what we'll do is we're going to set this to overlay. And let's mask it in with the brush. We'll set it to erase. Size 184, somewhere around there, 185. Softness 100 and strength 100. And let's brush out that hard edge right there. And now let's bring in the same overlay again. And we'll also add it to the other half of the image. So let's bring it down to here and what we can do is to avoid any patterns, we can actually just rotate it. That way we don't create repeating patterns. And that'll help things look a little more real, as it were. Let's get it out to the edge there. And down. And now let's do the same thing. We're going to go to properties. Oh, well, but first we're going to go to, I guess, uh, well, let's go to properties. And we're going to set it to... Overlay. Now let's go to masking, brush, make sure it's on erase, same thing, and just erase out the hard edge there. 
so it fits in nicely. And now we have a pretty cool little set of brush strokes there. And we're going to bring up the opacity on both of these, I think. You bring them all the way up to 100% for this one uh, because it mixes in pretty well. So let's take a quick look at the before and after. So here is our original photograph. And here's the after. And pretty cool, something that we just did in a few mouse clicks. And it was pretty easy to do and created something kind of fun and unique. Now you can still play around with this. You can still edit this further and do whatever else you might want to do to it. Uh, maybe I would want to actually bring the uh, overlay over here in just a little bit more to cover up that middle and blend things a little bit better. And now you can still go through all your colors and all your develop settings and kind of tweak this out to exactly the way you want it. But hey, pretty cool, pretty fun. This is actually a preset pack that is fun to use. I really like this. All right, so here's one more. I know you want to see it, Starry Night. So let's give Starry Night a try. And let's click that preset and let's see what it does with this image. And we give it a couple of seconds to process. Let's wait for it to clear up a little bit. Give us our high res preview. And there you go. And just like that, pretty cool. Um, again, still the same thing. We need to add in some texture uh, into the structure itself, uh, the architecture. But kind of cool. And just, like I said, really a lot of fun to play with. Uh, let's try another one. Dutch Seascape. Let's see what that would have done if we had tried that one. Let's give that a second to process and we'll wait for the high res version of it to load in. And there we go. And again, same thing. We need to add a texture to the bottom, but it does a fun job of, of making these very unique uh, paintings for you. So, hey, bravo to Skylum for a really fun preset. Now let's talk about how you can win a copy. Okay, folks, so that's everything. If this video was helpful to you, please consider subscribing. Thank you for that. Also, Leave me a comment. If you follow the channel, you know, I pretty much answer most of the comments, if not all. Um, let me know what you think about this preset pack and if it works for you. And of course, your chance to win. Check out the video description below. In the video description, you're going to find a link to enter the contest to win this preset pack. So, hey, good luck to you. Thanks for watching YouTube and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.